hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Good Friday. It is Good Friday today and we are here with another recipe of the day. And I thought today, we actually have two things we're going to make today. Um, and we are going to make, hey Erin, how are you doll? Thank you for watching. And Jill, my number one watching fan. Thank you. I appreciate all your love and loyalty. Um, today we are going to be making, I thought, something a little more in the salad vein to go with our sweet potato balls and our goat cheese scalloped potatoes we made yesterday. Um, and then we made pea salad and a rice dish earlier in the week on our Easter sides week. So today we are going to make a veggie, like a rice tabbouleh, but made out of broccoli and cauliflower um, rice vegetables. So we're going to make a salad out of these. Um, and it has um, green beans and fresh parsley and fresh mint and it just looked really light and springy to me and I thought it would be pretty on an Easter ta uh, table. Now I already have put um, the lemon zest in my salad bowl here. It's already there mostly because it's easier with my favorite tool. You guys have seen my rasp. I love my thing I put the zest in um, but it's already in. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cook the this um, rice, broccoli and cauliflower a little bit and then cook the green beans up just a little bit like two to three mi uh, minutes and then throw them in, in our bowl here and toss the salad and then um, we're going to do some dinner roll ideas after this. So let's get started with our salad. Hey Mickey, how are you? How's our birthday girl? Did you have a nice birthday? Let me get this going here. I had it warm. And I'm going to start with just a little bit of olive oil in a warm pan. Hey Erica, how are you? There's my sister. Hey Julia. We are making a rice vegetable tabbouleh to go with our other things we've made for our Easter side. So I just put a little olive oil, like a tablespoon, not much, less than that. Uh -uh in my big pan, using my big pan, mostly so you guys can see what I'm doing, or try to, because I can move the bowl, maybe you can see the pan. And we are going to dump in there, this is a uh, 10 ounce bag of rice, veggies, cauliflower, and broccoli. So I'm going to dump that in. And these are pretty much defrosted. I don't know if they're supposed to be or not, but they've been on the counter here for a few minutes, so they're getting defrosted. Oh, good! Mickey had cookies and milk for her birthday treat by special doorstep delivery. The family cookie recipe made it there. Hey, Janet, how are you? My sister's on here, too. Good to see you. So we've got our minced rice ve uh, vegetables cauliflower and broccoli, if you guys just joined, in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to dump in, this is about a cup or so of chopped up string beans that are chopped up pr uh, pretty small. So I'm going to dump those in there. And we need to stir here. So we're going to let those cook for a couple of minutes. Um, and this is going to be the base of our tabbouleh, right? vegetable tabbouleh. So we have another vegetable in our Easter side dish menu that just looks yummy. So I'm going to let that go for a minute um, and see how you guys are all doing. Oh, <laughs> Julie and Janet are going to have a conversation. Um, how is everyone getting ready for Easter? We're only two days away now. Um, we have a couple of cool things on deck for tomorrow. We're going to be making a dessert and an appetizer, the two best parts of the meal, frankly, in my opinion, is dessert and appetizer. Hey Tammy, there's my big winner from yesterday. And I can't read who's above you. Coffee, something coffee, hello. Um, hey Nancy, how are you? Good to see you, thanks for joining. We are making a vegetable rice tabbouleh, so out of rice, vegetables, broccoli and cauliflower, so it's going to be pretty low carb um, until we put a little bit of fun in at the end. So I'm just going to let this get a little bit cooked and a little bit warm up here in the pan. And this is just about two bags of the rice vegetables and about a cup of um, fresh organic string beans cut 
up small and then I also have chopped some fresh parsley I have chopped here in the bowl Instagram it's all chopped and then some fresh mint which I have chopped also small about a quarter cup or so of each maybe a third of a cup of each I love fresh mint hey Linda how are you thanks for joining we are making a vegetable rice tabbouleh today on our Easter sides week um, we have made pea salad, a yummy rice and green chili dish, uh, sweet potato balls, goat cheese scallop potatoes, and today we're doing this um, rice ve uh, vegetable dish for another vegetable on our uh, Easter spread. And then tomorrow we're going to be making a dessert and a, an appetizer. So that's where we are on our Easter sides week. So thank you guys all for watching. It's been so much fun. And if you have any recipes you want to make or share your family fa uh, favorites, we've still got three weeks left in April, every day at 3 o'clock. So send us your family favorite recipes, and I will make them and share them with everyone. Oh, yeah, my sister says only in California do you get this kind of mint. I love fresh mint, and it's just yummy smelling. I love it. We might be making a cocktail on Easter that we use fresh mint for too. One of the classic cocktails. It's fun giving you guys, just trying to give you guys some new ideas on things to do with your Easter crowd that's probably going to be a little smaller than usual. Hey Patty, how are you? Thanks for joining. We are making vegetable rice tabbouleh out of the rice, broccoli, and cauliflower for another vegetable dish on our Easter sides week. So we um, are just have the, the uh, olive oil, the green beans, and the veggies in the pan. And I am going to add now um, a little bit of garlic. It always calls for one clove, but I'm sure this is more than one clove because seriously, I don't think I've ever made anything in my life with one clove of garlic. It's just not enough, especially with this much veggie. Um, so that's some garlic, and I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there while it's going. So, some salt, and I'm just using regular salt and regular pepper. I see with all my cooking, I'm going to have to get some more salt and pepper. This has been fun, but I never cook this much at home. Who, who, uh, who has time in my real job? So I'm going through my spices and my all kinds of things. It's been fun. I'm going to let that garlic get sauteed a little bit with our veggies. Salt and pepper. Ooh, it's starting to smell good. So this will be good. I just thought this smelled like something different and pretty and basically low carb. So to balance out the yummy carb things we have made so far, the sweet potatoes and the scalloped potatoes and the rice, yummy. You know how it was everyone making for Easter. Any special things you're making you want to share with the group here? So we're going to take our bowl here. Once this is done, get my dishes out of the way here. Hey Valerie, how are you? Good to see you guys. One of the most fun things about doing this is seeing everybody live. It's awesome. Love it. My stage man manager slash director is working away here behind the scenes. <laughs> so I think, oh my gosh, this smells yummy. I just want these green beans to be a little bit soft so they're not too hard, they're not too raw in basically our veggie little salad we're going to make here. So I think that's about there, just about there. And I will dump that in here. I will start in our bowl here. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, just a, a little bit. Hey Susan, how are you? Thanks for joining. And I'm going to put in 
the juice of a lemon here, and like I showed you at the beginning, the zest from this lemon, look how sad he looks now that he got zested, but it's all re ready in the bowl. So we've got lemon zest, olive oil, oil and the lemon, and oh, I'm going to dump our things in here. Okay, let's see. What do you think? Am I going to make it in the bowl? Yeah, hope so. Come on, mostly you can make it in the bowl. My sous chef. There we go. So in here is the two bags of rice, um, cauliflower and broccoli, about a cup of chopped up um, green beans, chopped small. So we're going to throw that in there, turn that off. And then I'm going to mix in with this. Now obviously it's still warm. It probably says to let it cool, but we don't have time on live to let it cool. So we're just going to keep going here. So in this is our lemon juice and olive oil. And then I'm going to take our fresh chopped parsley and throw that in there. And then our fresh chopped mint. Hey, Terry, I'm making vegetable rice tabbouleh. So basically another vegetable side dish for our Easter sides week. So you have another thing that's a vegetable besides all the carbs we've made. That this week, and by the way, the sweet potato balls are killer because I had one wouldn't fit in my freezer container I was freezing it in, so of course I had to eat one before I even cooked it. Yummy! So now that's all mixed, smells so good, nice and fresh with the fresh herbs. Fresh herbs always make, uh, make it. Hey Cindy, um, so this recipe calls for pomegranate seeds um, in this to give it a little color. Well, guess what? They're seasonal, and they only have them in the fall. So, because I couldn't get pomegranate seeds to spruce this up, I had some craisins in my pantry. So we're going to throw a few craisins in there. This kind of takes away the low carb because these have so much sugar, but they're pretty. So I'm just going to put a handful in there of the craisins to take place of the pomegranate seeds that would be in this. And voila, we have our veggie rice tabbouleh, basically a veggie side dish that's pretty and something different because, you know, we all eat the same things all the time. So I thought that was kind of a cool new twist on a salad. Hey Nicole, how are you? So now we're going to venture into some dinner rolls and, and out of the way. Because um, yeast has been such a hard thing to find. I know most of the stores are out of yeast. So I just got, I must never buy these, but I bought a bag of just frozen dinner rolls because I was going to make just some secret um, side dish rolls. Uh, you take a little butter, which I have mel uh, melted here, Instagram, and put a little butter on top of these, a little bit of this garlic salt, and put them in the oven, and they are delish. People will think you have made them from scratch for sure. Uh, but then as I was getting these out, because um, this is a good substitute for trying to make yeast um, dough, which number one, you can't find flour and you can't find yeast. Um, the tabbouleh started with this. It started with the broccoli and cauliflower riced um, veggies. And I used two bags for this recipe. Is that your question was? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're bread machines, exactly. D yeah, but your bread machine, don't, don't you still need yeast? You can't find it here, or flour. So I got out the, the so anyway, I bought the frozen rolls to make some dinner rolls and um, just spread a little butter on these. Now you can do them individually, is why I got the cookie sheet out and do individual rolls and let them rise like that. Or you can do them like this style and let them roll together and rise like, like monkey bread. Or I thought this was a cute idea because, again, trying to find things for you to do with your kids, the, those of you that are sheltering in place with young kids and out of ideas. So on the back of this, well, I don't even know what these are. This is all they had, these rolls. It says, for Parker House rolls, you can flatten the roll with the palm of your hand, spread out, put the butter in the middle, fold in half. Or you can do cloverleaf rolls, you know, cut them in half and the pieces, put three balls of each piece in a muffin tin. Um, double rolls, place two of these balls in each muffin tin, or you can make breadsticks, which I thought with your kids, you take the dinner rolls, these things, and roll them into strips, 
and then you can make um, breadsticks, which I thought would be really kind of a fun project with your kids if you don't want to make the um, dough yourself or you don't can't find the ingredients to make the dough yourself. So the breadsticks, you just roll them in a little, um, paint on a little bit of melted butter and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and garlic salt, and boom, you have breadsticks. But more important than that, you have an activity for your kids to do with them. And then they're, you know, always feel more um, tied into the dinner if they helped make it. So that was my little tip on dinner rolls in the era of no yeast and no flour availability. So I uh, will let these, I'm just going to make these the garlic way. So I have a little butter here. I'm just going to paint a little butter on top of these. I'm going to let, let them just sit in the, this dish because again, I don't know, there's only three of us here and we uh, have plenty of food as you can imagine. All these things we've made. <laughs> Giving away a lot of things and we, my freezer is full. So there's only so much that we can eat, right? So dip a little butter on top of all those. A little garlic salt. Hey Lisa, Annette, thanks guys for joining. I'll show you what, what, what we made right now. I'm just doing some dinner rolls. So a little bit of butter with the frozen rolls, garlic salt on top, let this rise, and we're going to have some yummy, easy dinner rolls, because of course they're always yummy, right, fresh, hot out of the oven. But I'll show you what we made today, guys, who are just joining. We made this tabbouleh vegetable salad out of riced um, veggies, cauliflower and broccoli, so a nice, different, low-carb kind of salad there. And when I post the recipe, I post all the recipes in the comments of these videos. Um, I will do it. Th this is a double uh, recipe, so I'll put the recipe in for a single. Um, and then if you need more, you can make more. So, oh yes, of course, I have lots of gadgets. My sis sister said you should do a show just on all your gadgets that you have already in your house, in your kitchen, that you can use for things. So there is a gadget, a basting brush. It's actually sil uh, silicone. So it's easy to wash. I used to have one from the hardware store, like a regular paintbrush. Um, but I finally had to pitch that and moved into the modern age with a silicone basting brush. Um, so today's giveaway, I thought we would do something fun in light of Easter. And I have two bags bum, ba, da, da, of classic Brock's jelly beans. Because who doesn't just love the classics? So I thought, well shoot, let's do that for our giveaway today and get in the spirit of Easter. My sister just found today some old vi uh, videotapes of her kids when they were babies at Easter egg hunting. And it's just so cute, they grow up so fast. And she happened to find the Easter one <laughs> today. So let's do our drawing for our jelly beans, classic je uh, jelly beans. Would you like to draw? No, I'm going to let you handle it. Stage manager. It's not going to come on scene today. Okay, so Instagram, can you see? And we'll see what we've got in here. Da, 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 da. Oh, Christina Clark. She's a nurse working hard during this time. Thank you for all your hard work. Christina, how are you guys? I haven't talked to, to you through this. Everyone's crazy. So, second winner of our jelly beans is Florence J. Florence, you won the jelly beans. How cool is that? So, I don't know if you're watching today or not, but you're my winners today, Christina Clark and Florence J. And just want to um, say Happy Easter and Happy Good Friday. That's today. And just remember... Um, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So pick a good attitude. This too shall pass. And send me your recipes for things to make because we are going to be going live every day, um, 3 o'clock in April, and making um, easy, quick recipes, hopefully get some new ideas, and share recipes amongst each other. So hope you're having a nice day and you have a fun um, weekend planned ahead and it is our spring break we are now officially on spring break Rex is on spring break next week so I'm trying to talk him into being my special guest next week on some of these and doing some kid friendly or teen friendly meals re uh, recipes so we'll see how we do on that 
So anyway, have a wonderful, happy, good Friday, and we will see you here tomorrow at 3 o'clock. See you about... Oh, the other thing my sister found, today was my wedding video. Today, if you can believe that. I have never seen it because we didn't know ever what happened to it. So the other thing she found, along with the bag of old videotapes, was our wedding video. So it'll be fun to um, watch it after all these years. <laughs> I'm sure my sister said that there's a all half the people that were there are no longer with us unfortunately it was so long ago but it'll be fun to see everyone so thank you for watching and we will see if I get some clips of our wedding video that I've never seen we will see if they're funny and I can share those too so anyway thanks for watching all the best stay safe stay healthy and have a really awesome weekend and Easter. And tomorrow we're making two things. We're making a dessert and an appetizer. So we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. See you then.